Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to create your own transactions in SAP. As an example, I have written a small program here with which you can select and display the entries in the table as we fly. The video about how to create this program, I link you here on the top right. In principle, transactions can be used to start programs, maintenance views or quick views. Today, I want to assign a transaction to my program. To do this, let's open that transaction SE93. With uh, this transaction, you can display, change or maintain transaction codes. Today, I want to create a transaction with the name set SP fly rep. Then uh, transactions, custom transaction always starts with Z or Y. Then we click on the button create. Then we uh, see the transaction code. Then we write a short description. Table SP uh, fly report, for example. Then I pick the second uh, entry program and selection screen because in my report I have a selection, selection screen here with different select options. Then I click on continue. So then I have to type in the program and the name of my program is set AA code and let's type this in here. Then we don't need a variant and we don't need a authorization object. But we check the boxes on GUI support. Then we click on save. And we have a transport request here. And I type here my example package. And on save. Okay, it's examples. Save. Okay. So let's go back. And now we have created a transaction. And now let's try the new transaction. I type here slash n for a new modus. And here I type the name of my transaction. Set SP fly wrap. Press enter. And we see here the program is started. I have here my select options and I can type here some values and I can use my report. Finally, I would like to say that there are two ways to find transactions in a system. First, we are the transaction SE93, which we have used today. And second, we are the table TSTC. So let's browse this table. In this table, we have some uh, transaction codes and other settings of the transactions. And if we want to know the text, the description to the transactions, there is another table called TSTCT, T for text. And here we have the transaction code text. And we have here language key, the transaction and the description. Yes, that uh, was it already. Thanks for watching. I hope you can take something useful out of my videos. I'm always happy when I get comments, so feel free to leave some here. If you haven't already, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on my videos. I hope you will join me again for the next video. Thank you and see you soon.